As you may have learned, you can physically move, scale, or rotate an object in Navisworks. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could force Navisworks to do this automatically? Say, for example, we want to go into a room, go through a door, but we don't want to go through the door like we're a ghost. We want to simulate that door opening and that door shutting as we go through it. This video will cover the animator dialog and will show you how to create a scene, then append objects to that scene. We can then use the rotate command and drag that scene onto a timeliner. So to get started, let's jump into our Navisworks Essential.nwd file, or whatever project you might be working on. I want to go into this room here. So what I'm going to do is click my Orbit tool. I'm going to orbit around until I'm right on it. I'm going to zoom into it. Once I'm aligned to it, I'm going to go ahead and use my Walk tool. Make sure your collision and gravity are both turned off. I'm going to walk right into my room. I'm going to walk right up to this door. I'm going to pan down a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is right click on my door and select Hotel Room Door. If your properties aren't turned on, go ahead and turn your properties on. Go to the Element tab and find the door number. Write that door number down because we're going to need it. Now you can hit Escape a couple times. I'm going to pan back so I can see the door a little bit better. Then I'm going to close my Properties dialog. Now let's get started on the Animator. On the Home tab, click the Animator button. This will open up the Animator dialog. So to get started, what we need to do is actually create what's called a scene. We only have one button available, so let's click it. Let's click Add Scene. Instead of Scene 1, just click onto Scene 1 and call it Door 2015. and hit enter. Now what we need to do is physically select the door. So go ahead and right click on the door and select the hotel room door. Now for door 2015, go ahead and right click on top of that. Go to add animation set from current selection. Let's call that 2015 rotate and let's hit enter. Now what we need to do is click on the Rotate Animation Set. This will bring up our gizmo. What we need to do is zoom in on it a little bit. The objective here is to click on this bubble in the middle. Once it turns yellow, let's bring it over to where the door will be hinging, right about here. Make sure you're clicking on the middle bubble, not the arrows. Now we need to capture a keyframe. Basically what that is, is we're going to click the Capture Keyframe button and we're going to click on the Timeliner right here. So there's a little triangle that we can pick. Let's drag that out to about 3 seconds or so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little blue horizontal plane and we're going to hold it down and we're going to rotate the door open to a little bit less than 90 degrees. Now that we've got that open, the idea is now to make the door shut again. So let's go ahead and click on Capture Keyframe again. This will add a little triangle here. Go ahead and right click on that triangle and copy it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this little red triangle. We're going to move it over just a little bit. This is going to give our door a little bit of a pause. Now we're going to right click right in this area and we're going to select Paste. Now what we want to do is have a ping pong effect. So the PP under the rotate, go ahead and click that. What this does is this causes the door to open up, the time liner goes through, it pauses for a second, and then it will shut back again. So now that we've done that, let's click on the step back button, or we can go to rewind all the way back. Let's click the play button, and watch our door open, gets to a point, and then our door will shut again. I keep saying pretty cool, but <laughs> that is pretty cool. Try doing that in Revit or AutoCAD. Keep doing this exercise a couple times. There are a few quirky little steps that you'll have to get used to. And also, once you do it, think about other uses for this besides a door. Maybe a crane or some items flying around a construction site. 